This is the 415ers podcast brought to you by the Odyssey Sports Podcast Network on 90 uh, with 95.7 The Game. That's Mark Grandy. I'm Evan Giddings. We're coming at you twice a week here. Please download the Odyssey app, rate and subscribe to it while you're there. Um, well, that kind of leads into our, our next segment, Mark, which is this offense right now for the 49ers appears to be on paper pretty formidable. Uh, but you caught wind of some rankings that ESPN put out that maybe didn't have them as high as some people might assume. Well, yeah. So I was working here at 95, seven, the game on our afternoon show. And as I mean, I don't know how, how uh, the audience views inside of radio stations, but basically you got television screens all over the place. So we've got all kinds of stuff going on around us. Uh, and ESPN was on and I saw Mina Kimes uh, ranking her top offenses in 2023. And it was, obviously something that's always kind of in the back of your mind, right? Like you're a football fan. This offense is the best offense in the league. Oh, they're definitely a top five offense in the NFL. And in my mind, I, I hadn't really broke it down game by or team by team yet, but this kind of got me thinking, where would I put the San Francisco 49ers? Uh, Mina Kimes on television ranked her top four. And I managed to track down uh, some of her other rankings as well. She did, she does a, a podcast with ESPN, which is which is always a, a fantastic listen if you are a big football fan. She had the 49ers at number five, um, which I think is honestly probably pretty close to fair. I think there's a, a relatively clear top four, Evan. I don't know how you feel. In no particular order for me, I mean, you have to have Kansas City up there. You have to have Philadelphia up there. You mentioned A.J. Brown just a little bit ago. That is a fearsome offense. Buffalo with Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs is incredible. And then Cincinnati, perhaps the best wide receiver room and one of the best young quarterbacks in the league, they're up there as well. I don't know if the 49ers are better than any of those four. But after that, Evan, I think you kind of have a group of maybe four others who are jockeying for that fifth spot. And considering the fact that the 49ers have Christian McCaffrey, considering what they did a relatively small window with Brock Purdy as the quarterback last year. I think I might slot the 49ers in at number five, the fifth best offense in the NFL. Obviously there's some room for growth considering Brock Purdy's relative inexperience. There's also maybe a, a little bit more volatile for the 49ers, again, considering the inexperience at quarterback. I don't know how you feel, but I feel like the 49ers, the fifth best offense going into the 2023 season, that seems that seems pretty fair to me. Yeah, I think I would probably lean towards leaving them out of my top five, hmm. but it wouldn't be by very much. I mean, it'd be sixth or, or maybe seventh. Uh, and honestly, the biggest detractor is, is the quarterback. I mean, yep. that, that's pretty much the easiest thing to knock. I also think the offensive line, I, I, I know that it's not the sexiest thing to talk about, but to me, when you stack it up against those other top teams that you just mentioned – it is kind of a glaring piece of this. And it's kind of funny how the 49ers offense is weak up the middle. If you talk about your center guards and then your quarterback, I guess the running back would, would offset that, but they get stronger as they move out from the football hmm. uh, significantly. But I'm with you that Kansas city, Buffalo, Philly, and Cincy are the top four. However you want to slice it. I think they all have, every single piece you could hope for. And then because of the quarterback position, Mark, um, the the two teams really that I would consider ahead of the 49ers or right there would be the Los Angeles Chargers and the Dallas Cowboys. And the only reason I would have the Cowboys probably lower than the Niners is, I mean, I, I do think Dak Prescott's a more established quarterback, but they just lost their offensive coordinator. That's the one thing that the Niners do have going for them in this entire ranking, if you want to put it together, is they do have continuity on offense via Kyle Shanahan. Uh, the Chargers, I think, also have a top five quarterback. Like, I don't think it's a it's a you know a correlation, or I don't think it's a coincidence that my top five offenses are also led by my top five ranked quarterbacks yeah. in football. Uh, and that's unfortunately where the 49ers are deficient. 
So if they're sixth or they're seventh, to me, that points to how great the rest of the weapons and other position players are around the quarterback. And of course, the play calling of Kyle Shanahan must factor into it as well. But I would have them slightly outside of my top five, probably sixth. I think I'd give them the edge over Dallas. That's fair enough. Uh, I'm I'm interested that you have the Chargers as high as you do. I mean, I'm obviously a huge Justin Herbert fan. I'll shout that from the rooftops whenever. Um, I don't know. I I mean, they have a ton of talent. You're right. I, I, I kind of feel like you're just you pick any one of these teams out and and whichever one you pick, you can make a case for at number five. For me, when I was first breaking this down, kind of the group of four. I feel bad and I'm not including the Chargers in this. So I'll say a group of five that I think are vying for perhaps that fifth spot. I think you have to include the Miami Dolphins in there with Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. You have a, an interesting backfield and Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson Jr. Of course, 49ers, relative unknowns before the 49ers. Um, but, you know, those two not bad running backs by any stretch. You throw in two attack of Iloa. The big question, of course, is health. If that happens, they're going to be a top five offense. If Tua stays healthy for a season, there's just no way they can't be considering the wideouts that they have. You mentioned Dallas. I agree. Brandon Cooks is a fantastic third wide receiver, which is what it looks like he will be there in Dallas. They finally went away from Zeke, which means more touches for Tony Pollard, who's one of the more explosive running backs in the NFL. Yeah, You mentioned the Chargers. That was I overlooked that at first, but I think you're right. The other team that I will throw in there that is vying for this title along with the 49ers and others for perhaps the fifth best offense in the NFL, it's one you'll like, led by a Golden Bear. It's the Detroit Lions. That offense is fun to watch. I know they they shook up their offense, specifically in the running back room. They drafted Jameer Gibbs out of Alabama, shocking everyone 12th overall. They traded DeAndre Swift away to the Eagles. Then they signed David Montgomery, the former running back for the Bears. But you still got Jared Goff. You still have Amon Ross St. Brown. You have Marvin Jones. You drafted another tight end out of Iowa, a la TJ Hawkinson. He's probably going to come in and be good uh, right away because that's just what Iowa does with tight ends. I really, really like the Detroit offense. And I don't know I'm getting away from the 49ers just a little bit. But I think there are – there may be five teams fighting for that fifth spot, but a point you made is really interesting because you consider all of these players, all of these teams, maybe the lions, not, not so much Jared Goff, obviously a quality quarterback, but is it on the level of a Justin Herbert and a Josh Allen and a Patrick Mahomes and a Joe Burrow, the 49ers legitimately have a top five, six, seven offense in the NFL and they are starting a second round quarterback who was drafted with the last pick in the draft. Like that is just absolutely ridiculous. If you took out the quarterback position somehow, I know it's actually impossible to do this, but if you just took out the quarterback position from ranking offensive groups, you go offensive line, you go tight ends, you go wide receivers, you go running backs. I think the San Francisco 49ers far and away have the best group of players there, the best group of 10 players in the NFL. I know it probably gets weighed down a little bit by the offensive line because there are other teams out there that have better offensive lines. I'm not saying that. But the 49ers are lapping everyone else in the skill position department. It is insane how good they are at running back, wide receiver, and tight end. This offense is incredible. So the, the fact that they are in this conversation with a relative unknown at quarterback is wild to me. I would push back on that. I mean, I, I think they're very close to the top when it comes to the rest of their skill position players, and they do have some advantages. But the two teams that I would probably rank above them would be Philadelphia and Cincinnati. And Philly, I I think they have one of, if not the best offensive lines in football. Cincinnati would be the other one that I would choose. In addition to, of course, two wide receivers and A.J. Brown <laughs> and um, the uh, Devontae, know, Smith. Devontae Smith. Sorry, the Heisman winner from Alabama. And the, the running back room is a little bit bare. I think Dallas Goddard is every bit as good of a pass catcher as George Kittle. Probably not as good of a blocker. 
Um, and then I think Cincinnati probably lacks in the tight end department, but they make up for that, of course, with their wide receiver room. And I think Joe Mixon is not as good as Christian McCaffrey, but he's a quality running back. Sorry, you want to say something? Well, I'm just saying none of those guys have Christian McCaffrey. And Christian McCaffrey is the key that unlocks this whole thing for the San Francisco 49ers. He is, I don't know, it's it's difficult for me to, it's difficult to sum up just how important he is to this offense. Everything that he does is perfect for the Kyle Shanahan system. And there's no one else out there that does what he does. I understand what you're saying. Philadelphia 100% has a better offensive line than the 49ers, although quietly they are getting up there in age, and I think there are some cracks forming. They were playing with injuries all year long last year, not saying I expect it to happen again. Um, but you're right. They have a better offensive line. The wide receiver room for the Bengals, maybe them and, I don't know, the Dolphins, the, the two best wide receiver rooms in the NFL. Uh, you could also throw maybe the Bills in there. That's a really good wide receiver room. I just don't think there is someone who can match up with Christian McCaffrey. Specifically, of course, talent level, what he brings, his versatility. But just in terms of fit on a roster and, and fit in a play style, I don't think there's a, a more, I don't know, valuable piece that at the same time fits so perfectly within a system as Christian McCaffrey does with the 49ers. Maybe I'm... Maybe you know, I have my 49ers glasses on and I, I can't see clearly, but it just seems to me like where the 49ers have de some deficiencies elsewhere, where they are miles and miles better just looking at a, a skill position group um, is the running back position because McCaffrey is the most unique weapon in football and fits so perfectly into what the 49ers are trying to do. Yeah, I'm I'm not mad at that. And and look, I think calling them a, a top three, you know, group of weapons is is no slight. Uh, but but there's also a reason that Christian McCaffrey is such a great fit and is so valuable, and that's because they need him to be. Like he he has to be that guy in order for this offense to perform at the level that it did last season. In many ways, he unlocked, you know, the the openings for Brock Purdy because there was so much focus on him. I mean, the guy touched the ball 380 times last year, nearly 250 of which for the 49ers. Like, he was a bell cow. Like, that, that guy took so much pressure off of everyone else, uh, and he's a, probably a reason that we're, we're expecting, you know, Debo Samuel get, to get back to his old self, that Brandon Ayuk can level up this year at receiver, that George Kittle can continue to do big things in the passing game. It's because it all starts with the number 23, and if they're successful on the ground, if they're successful with Christian McCaffrey catching balls out of the backfield, then they're going to put up a lot of points. And so I, I do hear you that Christian McCaffrey is the quote-unquote trump card of the 49ers offense. But I think when you look at the rest of the offenses in the NFL at the very, very, very top, um, I, I don't think it's just head and shoulders above everyone. But he is the reason why there is so much confidence in this offense to even be considered in the top three or top five when you don't have a quarterback that right now can throw a football. Yeah, no, 100%. You're right. Just a couple of numbers that I think drive home this point about Christian McCaffrey. Look at the 49ers offense before the trade. The 49ers in 2022, pre-McCaffrey, were 21st in DVOA. That mm -hmm. is defense-adjusted value over average. So in general, it tries to calculate a team's success based on down and, and distance of each play. And then, you know, it, it compares that to, uh, you know, the average, league average. Uh, they were 21st in that pre-McCaffrey, first after the trade. They were 19th in EPA per play, expected points added per play before the trade, first after the trade, 26th in QBR. Uh, second in QBR after the trade, 10th in yards per attempt before the trade, second in yards per attempt after the Christian McCaffrey trade. Now, I know I'm, I'm just throwing out numbers, but the, the trend is 49ers offense, middle of the pack at best with Christian McCaffrey, elite, elite, elite with Christian McCaffrey. And there are other players, of course, that can have a big impact like that. But the one we saw, the single player that we saw change teams have the biggest impact uh, for his new team was Christian McCaffrey. No doubt about that. And I know you're not arguing that. Just 
throwing out some stats to, to try to bring home my point. Um, but Christian McCaffrey on this 49ers team is the X factor, is the weapon, is the person, is the single individual player that makes everything else work as, as good as it was working at the end of last year.